Hey guys, so today I'd like to talk to you about how to use the metronome inside of Mainstage as a click track when you're playing live and control it from your MIDI controller. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're going to start on the Layout tab in Mainstage. And the first thing you want to do here is create a couple of buttons. Now I have some down here that I normally use, but I'm going to just create in this section. I'm going to create this from scratch so that you can just add it to any uh, setup that you may have. So first thing you want to do is uh, go along the way and choose a button. And you see all your controls under here, but um, I like to go under all controls, in which case you can just find them all together. So I'm going to create a button here. And this particular button I'm going to use for tap tempo. So in order to do that, I'll go over here. I'm going to change it from parameter value. And I don't really care that it has anything on this one because I just want to tap on the button and I know what it is. So, so we'll go here and we'll make this one our uh, tap tempo button. If you'd like, you can add a hardware label to it, which is kind of nice. Tap tempo. I just call it tap. Make it a little bit bigger. You'll be able to see that. There we go. So tap. And you can drag this little interim line to make it a little smaller, like that. So there's our tap tempo button. Let's make another one. To do that, I'm just going to make a copy of that. Edit copy and then edit paste to show you visually or you can do just command C command V and uh, for this one we're going to call this click and this is what we'll use to turn the click on and off so this will tap the tempo this will get us to click and when we tap in the tempo it'd be great to see what that tempo value actually is so if you go down here to your controls and choose parameter text you can drop parameter text here and for this text, we'll actually put the tempo there. And again, you can add a hardware label to this one and call it tempo. And then instead of displaying the parameter name and the value, we're going to change the control to display only the parameter value. So this will be what will show us our current tempo. And again, you can lay these out however you would like in your setup. And then just as we did before, I'm going to edit copy and edit paste that one because I'd like to add a section down here that will show you the count of our beat as we're playing through um, and we'll leave the again we'll just have that to display the value so these are just your basic layouts um, just a few controls to put on your layout and then you can go over and assign those to specific uh, controls on your keyboard so in my case I'm going to hit uh, tap and click assign and I have a pad on my keyboard I'm going to hit that so there we go we got the tap you can see I already have tap assigned down here for my normal setup but for the sake of this tutorial and then for click this is going to be like more of a toggle to turn the click on and off so I'm going to use this button to do that so I press that button a few times to toggle that on and off and if I turn these off you can see I've got a signal coming there and a signal coming there on tap. So now once you've done that, if you go over to your main uh, patch list and go to the top of the concert level there, uh, then you can go and um, determine what's going to happen for these specific buttons. So whenever I press my tap button, I want it to take the action of tapping tempo. So you go to actions and then you choose tap tempo and that will map it and um, and actually we'll try that in a second but let's go back over to tempo for this one you can say that the actions you would like this to display the um, current tempo whatever the tempo happens to be and the way that works is if you go into uh, and choose tap tempo on a display only item it'll show you the tempo if you choose tap tempo on a button then it'll allow you to set the tempo so that's how that works so I have those both assigned and um, so let's just try that out first. So if I press the tap tempo button, you can see as I'm tapping and it's flashing and it's actually changing the tempo, which is cool. So now if I want to turn on the metronome, and I go over here to where it says click, and again we've had that we have that button assigned already. But when I press that button, what I would like it to do is I would like it to turn on the metronome. And let's go down here where it says metronome. And when I press that, you can hear the metronome kick in. 
So there you go. Press it again, it turns it off. Now one thing to note when you do this though is that turning the metronome on also turns on the play button for main stage. And when the play button is on, then in the background, even though you don't hear the metronome playing, it's still continuing at the normal beat. And, um, and that may be, may be what you want, it may not be what you want. In most cases, it's not what I want. And so I'll come back in a moment and I'll show you how to, how to make that turn off and on when you turn the metronome off and on. But before we do that, let's go down here to count. So if you go to count, we can assign it for the actions and choose actions. And we can go down here and we can say uh, beat count. If you choose that, that will show you the current beat. And as I mentioned earlier, the clock's still ticking here. You can see it's still ticking even though the metronome's off. And so I'm going to click that to turn it off for the moment. Um, so there you go. So we have that all assigned now. Now, uh, let's just try our button again. Okay, see? So now we have the metronome going, and you can see here that the play button kicked off when I want to turn the metronome off. Press this again, and it keeps going. But I don't want it to keep going. So since I don't, let's go back over here to this button. And not only do I have this button mapped to turn the metronome on, but I'm going to add another mapping. And this match mapping is going to be to actually, and I hit the plus key here to add a new mapping. This ma mapping is going to be to play stop, and that'll press play or stop. So I press that, and now watch when I press it again, it stops it at the same time. So this is a way to just kind of reset your metronome. The only problem I've had with this, and I'd love to see in the comments if you know a way to solve this, the only problem I ha I've had is that uh, whenever I stop it and restart it, as the play button is getting turned on at the same time as the metronome, I lose the first beat. Listen to this. So I lose that first beat. So if the first beat is important to you, then you'll want to uh, maybe figure out a way to do that. And if you do, let me know. I'd love to know. Um, so with that, that's how you can actually set it up and, um, and enjoy having a metronome that you can use live and even tap your tempo in. Now for some patches, let's talk about tempo for a second. If I go into... For example, this patch, uh, Worship Fundamentals, if I go over here, you can have the patch to automatically force the tempo to a certain tempo. So if there are certain songs you're playing, you can go to the patch and it'll force it. And as you notice, the tempo changed immediately to that tempo that I had set. And um, so then when you're ready to play for that, with that particular sound or that particular song, you can just, it's just a little bit slower and then... And I like having the visual here as well so that I can see what beat I'm on. And, and you know, just kind of that along with the uh, flashing meter down here is useful. Okay, and the last thing I'll show you here is how to actually set the characteristics of your metronome. If you go to the concert level here and you click on metronome and then you click on this little metronome button, it'll pop up and it'll show you some different options for your metronome. If you recall the default, and this is probably what you heard when you were doing this earlier if you're following along, So there's that kind of default click that they have in main stage. But there's several others. Uh, I like a lot of these. If you've got a kind of a more driving song with some drums in it, you can do kind of a kick drum thing going on there that'll give you a little more percussiveness to what you're doing. Uh, this one's nice. It's very subtle, but just kind of cuts through. And then this one is the one that I was using earlier. Oops, sorry. This is the one I was using earlier there and so there you go so that's how to set up and use a metronome live inside of main stage hope you enjoy so if you like this video please click and subscribe if you'd like more like it i don't get to post often but when i do hopefully they're useful enjoy thanks have a good day